quick tip in Studio One that some of you may not know. Check this out. If you bring impact into a track, right, and then you look at your presets for impact, and let's just say you're using one of the packs that uh, Personas came with, Atomic Fuel presets, and you pick a kit. You got a kit picked. It's drums, everything. Whoops. All right. Chill. Everything seems fine, and we have all this stuff that we could choose from and play, right? Now, if we open up the mixer, oops, the mixer down here, you can see that impact is on one track, and that's all fine and good, and that's how we typically do things, and it's cool. But if you use a Personas preset in the Personas folder for impact, let's just pick 60s a go-go, and then we look at the mixer, where am I going? Up here. And then we look at the mixer. You can see that the mixer now has eight tracks of impact. And what's this all about? Or seven. What's this all about? Well, you could see if we play certain drum sounds, they're coming through different mixer channels. So that's different than when we picked a non-Personas preset, like even this uh, Gold Baby. Let's see how they do things. All right, so Gold Baby. Let me just delete this, remove this tracking instrument. Let's bring Impact again. Let's bring up the Gold Baby drums and let's see how they do things. Yeah, like Gold Baby, does, everything is coming through one mixer channel. So what is this all about? Why the Personas ones have eight mixer channels and what does that even mean? Well, it's actually a very cool thing that Impact has. Think of Impact as a drum machine that has eight outputs like eight holes in the back of the unit that you can run to a mixer, okay? Eight separate channels. And you can assign different drums to each one of those channels. In the non-Personas drum sets, like this Gold Baby and Atomic Fuel, you can see that it just goes to one mixer channel. Well, where do you set this and why even do it? Well. How you set it is, number one, right in the corner of each pad, it tells you what mixer channel this drum is being assigned to. If you want to change it, you simply click on it and pick a different drum channel. So now I have the kick going through channel one and a clap going through mixer channel two, and we can make a hi-hat go through mixer channel three. Now you're going to see on the mixer three channels. And we can even label them if we want. At this point, just call this kick and this clap and this hi-hat. And you can see, where's the clap? There's a clap and there's a hi-hat. So we got kick, clap, hi-hat, all coming through their own separate channels. Now, this is very cool because even though in Impact, you can adjust for each pad, you all these controls over here, can be adjusted for each pad. Like if I want to adjust the volume of the kick, I just click on the kick and I adjust the gain here. This adjusts the volume of that kick drum. If I want to adjust the hi-hat, I can come over here, hi-hat, come over here, make it louder, softer. That's all cool. But I can't add effects to each pad because that's that option is not over here. I can add filters and pitch and change things and have fun, which we might do in another video but I can't add effects. What if I wanted to add reverb to just the hi-hat, but not the kick and not the snare? That's why this exists. So you can assign separate mix channels to separate drums and add separate effects. There's a room reverb on the hi-hat. So now it sounds reverby. And maybe we wanna put a mix verb on the snare. Clap, I mean. So now the clap has some some mix verb going on there. So now we got So it's it's actually a very powerful and fun option of impact, a feature of impact where you can assign each one of the pads to its own mixer channel. And that opens up a whole array of chucking effects on each specific drum if you want phasers and reverbs and compressors and all kinds of stuff which we could talk about in other videos all right so again let me delete this i'm gonna do a quick little demo here 
impact bring it in atomic fuel presets it's all going to come through channel one gold baby channel one but personas because it's their program and they know the power of impact if i pick a kit there we have seven or sometimes eight drum channels already set up with different drums going to each channel Cool, right? So it is one of the benefits of picking a Personas kit. If you just want to find a quick kit in Impact, pick a Personas kit. You'll already have all these mixer channels set up. And if you were wondering what the heck these mixer channels were, because you just threw in one instrument, you would think one instrument has one mixer channel. That's why all the other eight exist. And you could change them, like I said, over here in the bottom right. That's what these numbers are in each pad. It's what mixer channel it's going to. Hope that helps, and I'll uh, see you guys later.